After having their six-game winning streak snapped in yesterday's 6-3 loss to Boston College, the 20th-ranked Huskies welcome the Hartford Hawks to Storrs, looking to get back in the win calm in a Wednesday afternoon matchup at the Doug. The Huskies wasted no time putting this one far out of reach as they exploded for 10 runs in the bottom of the first inning to put an early stranglehold on this one. Star first baseman Ben Huber came to the plate twice and drove in three runs behind an RBI double and a two-run shot to left center. Connecticut's pitching was just as dominant as they held the Hawks to without a hit the first five innings of the ball game. Starting pitcher Garrett Coe hurled two scoreless innings followed by solid outings from Brady Aftham, Michael Quigley, and Braden Quinn. In the bottom of the fifth, seven Huskies would circle the bases courtesy of five walks and a hit batsman by the Hartford pitching. Freshman outfielder Drew Crone came off the bench to deliver a two-run single, one of just two hits that the Huskies had in the bottom of that inning. The Huskies would roll to a dominating 17-1 victory over the Hawks to advance to 17-6 on the season. Here's what head coach Jim Penders had to say about his team going forward. We still haven't played really great. You know, we don't have our entire lineup. Uh, we haven't had a, you know, we have two or three pitchers that have pitched really, really well. We have, you know, at times four, five position players that are really, really swinging the bat uh, very well. But we haven't had uh, everybody doing that. And so hopefully we can get a little bit better. We've been winning, we've been fortunate to win without our best performances. If we can put some more complete performances together, I like our chances to be really far.